By 2050, over 50% of India's population will live in urban areas. This rapid expansion is leading to conversion of agricultural land to other land uses around cities. Peri-urban agriculture is important for achieving climate resilience and food security. It is the source of fresh food supply to urban populations and generates local employment. A study of peri-urban agriculture in Dehradun, Ahmedabad and Panjim shows that rising population and increase in spending ability will double the demand for fruits and vegetables by 2030. In the peri-urban area of these cities, many high-value, high-volume crops can be cultivated for local consumption. Most such crops are currently being imported to these cities. Growing these crops within a 15-kilometer radius of these cities can reduce environmental costs and generate various social benefits. To promote local cultivation, it is essential to limit the conversion of fertile land for urban development. Crop production should incorporate climate variability concerns. Climate change impacts on local production of these crops shows varied future outcomes under RCP climate scenarios. In Dehradun, rising temperatures will increase mango cultivation in the short and long terms. Potato cultivation would increase in the short term. However, potato and peas will decrease in the long term. Other local crops such as apple, tomato, onion are expected to remain stable. In Panjim, Arakanut and banana production is estimated to decrease under RCP 8.5 scenario. Cashew nut, coconut and mango production, however, are expected to remain stable. In Ahmedabad, cabbage and tomato production is expected to decline. Chili, pomegranate and mango are projected to remain stable under both scenarios. One way of strengthening peri-urban agriculture is to optimize supply chains by connecting local production with local demand. Policy makers can begin by mapping the demand for local crops as a ratio of total food demand in cities. Suitable cultivation sites can be identified within a 15-kilometer radius. These should be selected on the basis of land suitability, input costs, cold storage, and land development expenses. These supply sites can then be linked to demand sites in cities, creating an optimal system that does not require high logistical support. Policymakers can further strengthen peri-urban agriculture around cities through various interventions at national, state and city levels. Using GIS-based crop suitability mapping and real-time Monday monitoring to provide necessary evidence for decision-making. Raising awareness about benefits of peri-urban agriculture to increase demand. Promoting horticulture and green housing linking peri-urban regions to institutions and markets, building key infrastructure like all-weather roads to improve supply chains, promoting financial instruments like crop insurance to help farmers safeguard against losses, building hub mondays in large cities to provide aggregation centers for local produce, Investing in peri-urban agriculture based on costs and benefits can improve the environmental and nutritional profile of cities and meet the goals of climate change, mitigation and adaptation.